Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install VLC Media Player from Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. So whenever you try to install VLC Media Player, if you're receiving any kind of error codes or when you click on install, if nothing happens, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to log out and log in with correct account. So open Microsoft Store on your computer on the top right here you can see your profile icon click on it then click on sign out again click on sign in now select the right account and then click on continue it will be asking for your pin or password over here so enter the pin or password now once logged in now try to install the game or application also make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then cl click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically is on over here in windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically make sure that is also on in windows 11 you can select the right time zone from here scroll down also make sure the right country is selected so click on time and language once again go to region and make sure right country is selected over here now try to install the game or application now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset run command now this will open this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now try to install the game or application. Now the next step is to repair or reset Microsoft Store. So type in store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings. Now scroll down. Here you can see the repair option, so click on repair. And after the repair, try to install the game or application. Now, still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, open Microsoft Store. And that should go ahead and fix the error message. But still you are receiving the error message, then run this command. This command is provided in the video description, so copy it. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. And let the process complete. Now this process will take some time. Now during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now use Microsoft Store. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. For this, open File Explorer. Then go to this PC. And then open C Drive. Now open Users folder. And then open Your Username folder. And then open App Data. Now if you don't see App Data over here, on the top here you can see view click on view then select show and then put a check on hidden items now in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find view tab so click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items and then you should be able to see app data so open app data folder now open the local folder now find packages folder open the packages folder now scroll down Now over here you will find Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric characters. So open this folder. Over here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now restart your computer and then after the system restart, use Microsoft Store or Xbox app. Now the next step is to click on get updates in store library. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now, now, 
Now on the bottom left here, you can see library options. So click on library. And on the top right here, you can see get updates option. So click on get updates. And once all the updates are installed, try to use Microsoft Store. If this does not work, start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update and then make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now with Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click. Again, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected over here, click on restart the service. Now open Microsoft Store and then use it. Now the next step is to update Windows. Make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to the Start menu then click on Settings. Now if you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security. If you have Windows 11, click on Windows Update. Then click on Check for Update. And then once the update is installed, restart it can be done. Then try to use Microsoft Store. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. Now restart your computer. Now after the system restart, again open PowerShell. So type in PowerShell and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now run the second command. So copy this command, paste it, hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. Now open Microsoft Store and then use it. Now the next step is to try installing the application or game to a different drive. So for this, go to the start menu, click on settings, go to system, then click on storage, scroll down. Click on advanced storage settings and then click on where new content is saved. And then if you have selected any other hard drive, maybe D drive or some other drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. Now the next step is to rename WP system and Windows apps folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now, so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties. Go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here. Everyone and then click on check names, then click on OK. Now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply, OK, OK, OK and then again make a right click on WP system folder, select properties once again, go to the security tab once again, click on advanced once again. Now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal. Now type in everyone once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok ok so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wp system dot old now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again now the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab, scroll down, make sure use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, all four are checked. Then click on apply, OK and launch Microsoft Store. Now the last step is to update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool. So if you have windows 10, copy this link. If you have windows 11, copy this link. 
if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which is ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps should help you to install vlc media player on your windows computer successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel